Firstly, yeah, it is a challenge. Uh, it doesn't get. It's not the same like you play uh, 25, 26, 30, or even 35. 38 is different to 35. Every bit of work that you put, you have to put doubly hard to earn the right to be there. There are no doubts. There are challenges for me to <laughs> go through. Um, usually, it takes a little bit longer. Even I, I haven't played a three-day game in a while. Also, so my only experience with game time was TNPL. Of course, the intensity was pretty high. I kept. We decide what intensity we must play at. Um, so I played it at pretty high intensity, which was of help. That was the last competitive game I played. Um, look, I think uh, no goals, nothing set aside. I just wanted to enjoy my game, uh, be the best that I can be, uh, seek excellence. I'm not ambitious at this point of time. I love my game. Uh, I want to play as long as I can. So whatever I'm, I am today is because of the game and what it has given me. So I, I'm deeply indebted to that. And every one of the moments that I will play in the future will also be with the same attitude. No, to be fair, I have reduced my strength training sessions. Uh, I work differently on my mobility and uh, uh, other aspects of life. <laughs> I'm living life. <laughs> Do a bit of yoga. Yeah, it's good. I don't think Rishabh's uh, form or ability was ever going to be in question at all. I think it's it's the way he's come back and he's put himself on the field, which is quite miraculous. Uh, which is probably. Uh, God sent, if, if I can say that. It depends on the belief of people. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I don't think there was any pressure on him. I thought even he bat batted very well in the first innings. Um, good that he is back and he, he scored runs the way he usually scores. Uh, he's entertaining. Uh, not the greatest of sights for people sitting behind him to go into bat. You don't know when your turn will come. Uh, but yeah, completely uh, entertained. I think he's only going to get better. And he's, he always, he's never lacked confidence. He's always had the backing of the team. Uh, so yeah, it was always going to happen. I, I was never in doubt. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Uh, I don't even know if it works. But yeah, I totally enjoy doing it. Uh, sometimes to a point you equally get frustrated when you lose chess games online. So uh, you're playing with somebody real time. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, I don't like losing there also. It's an aven other, another avenue for me to compete. I watch, I follow a lot of chess games happening now. Uh, without any history of chess coming out of this country, we produced a legend like Vishwanathan Anand, which is something uh, uh, fantastic. And this morning also, I saw Ikaru Nakamura tweet about it. So it is it's just amazing. I think he's someone who's underpraised a lot, hasn't gotten his due. And uh, it used to be a boring game when I started playing when I was young. But totally addicted and fascinated by how it works. I think I had a long spell yesterday, 13 overs. So I think that's just the way Rohit rotates bowlers. And I often feel like he gives those long spells, uh, brings in his bowlers. There was a little bit more life in the morning in the pitch, I felt. Maybe because of the overcast conditions or the bowlers were fresh. Nice carry from this side. So that extended spell from Siraj shouldn't go unnoticed because I thought uh, bending your back on a day four pitch where it has gotten a bit slow, uh, I thought he bowled fantastically with his heart out and uh, deserved that extra overs he got. So once he was done, I think I was anyways going to come from his end. No, it's a, like you said, rightly said, it's a long season, but it's tough. sometimes when you look so far ahead, it can be quite deflating. Uh, you're playing like three, four months of uh, cricket and you're playing 10 test matches, a lot of test matches. Uh, so sometimes you can't think like that, you have to stack it up. I did put in a bit of work getting into it. I know I need to build some, uh, have some reserves in the tank. So I've tried to build it up. Uh, we'll have to see. There are good breaks between games. So hopefully, we'll get small windows for me to keep uh, ironing it out. More than skill, I think it's about uh, physically being able and pliable to be able to go through the season, uh, which is of utmost importance for me right now. No, I, I, I like the question. I, was, I just started to think if I would have asked that question sitting in your seat. <laughs> oh, yeah, quite a good question. Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know yet. What is the Chepok swan song? Uh, every every time you walk out to the park, it's a swan song. So, I, I'm talking about a test match, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, like I said, every, every day, every test match I'm playing is a big thing. Yeah. You, not only for me, uh, you can ask any cricketer to go through a test match or a test series is a grind and you never really know what is next when it comes to test matches because you put in that effort, everything and then you don't, you need to be lucky enough to get those performances, also work hard and simultaneously manage your ups and downs. These are all huge challenges for any test cricketer. Uh, so I'm not, I haven't thought so far ahead but if that was my swan song, what a swan song. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> I think he's quite a, he's been a very inspirational story as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've seen Jadeja, Jadeja made his test debut just after me, a little, probably a couple of, not even a couple, right? Six months, six months apart maybe. And uh, I saw how he used to bat, then I was batting ahead of him at one stage and then he batted and he actually walked in at number five for us several times. Uh, many of these uh, occasions over the last three or four years when he's walked in to bat, 
uh, I felt so good in the dressing room. You feel so calm and composed when he is batting. He's brought that kind of assurance. And uh, someone who's been, who's an all-rounder, who's a bowler who can bat, to turn himself being such an impe impeccable batsman, played some great knocks for us overseas as well. Uh, such an inspirational story about how he's found his off term, how disciplined he's managed to be, how he's contributed. Jadeja on the field is uh, is a fire. He's a rocket on the field. So. Uh, all in all, I envy him, I'm jealous of him, but totally admire him. I've uh, learned to admire him for the last 4-5 years, even more than I have in the past. Sometimes, when you're in the race along with your cricketers, co-cricketers, you, you're in a race. Uh, you compete, you're ambitious, you want to get ahead of one another even inside a team. It's like brothers going in arms, right? So, uh, And then you start, slowly start admiring one another and uh, that admiration has gone one step, one, one step higher knowing that I can never be Jadeja. So, yeah, I'm comfortable in my skin, but yeah, totally inspirational what he's done. Look, I think this pitch, you know, yeah, even if you bowl good balls, you might, you, could, you will go for runs, but the bounce is going to be quite daunting. And uh, the beauty of playing on good surfaces like this, sometimes around the country, people do make the mistake of terming India as a whole. I actually think India has a lot of foreign soil in its own <laughs> nature. You, you go to Ranchi, doesn't feel like home. You, you go to, uh, sometimes go to Eden, doesn't feel home. You go to Dharamshala, all of a sudden, doesn't feel home. Uh, and for some uh, wild, wild reason, people don't seem to assimilate this because the so nature of soil is different, the weather is different, different times of the year. It's not like, it's not a country like Australia where every Boxing Day Test match happens at Melbourne. Uh, we don't do that. Pongal Test doesn't happen in Chennai. So, uh, the surfaces react very differently uh, at different times of the year. Uh, we don't, we've lost a lot of red soil pitches over the years, uh, which was a key component of playing test cricket in India. And the beauty about red soil is you put revs on it, there is value and uh, there is bounce. You will get hit, but there is bounce. Uh, you play on some black clay surfaces around the country elsewhere without naming them, you have to do a lot of hard work, uh, put a lot of revs and see nothing come out of it. And sometimes it's better to not put revs on it in certain places. So. Uh, to even understand all these things, to begin to understand and talk about it is a fair amount of uh, learning for me and it's happened over the years. Like I said, this one's got solid bounce and I would any day play on a surface like this and get hit, uh, then play on another surface. If you want to talk about fielding, then where do you start, sir? Let's talk about Dilip sir first. Actually, that day, our name of our fielding coach, uh, Dilip sir, we put it on Google. He was an internet personality. But so unfair. हम ढूंढ ढूंढ कर slip catching थोड़ा challenging था दो एक दो साल पहले. मगर जैसे एशियाई जेसवाल ने slip catching का improvement दिखाया last एक दो साल में South Africa में South Africa में जो catches पकड़े ये game में भी गली में एक catch अच्छे सा पकड़ा. और K L Rahul एक कमाल का fielder है second slip में और उसको replace करा के ये second slip में खड़े होते हैं. So मेरे हिसाब से बहुत बहुत मेहनत की ये लोग और क्लोज इन कैचिंग शॉट लेग एक बहुत डिफिकल्ट चीज था मैं अच्छे फील्डर्स नहीं मिल रहे थे और जयसवाल खुद ही वॉलेंटियर करके जाके खड़े हो जाते सरफराज कान भी करते सो ऑल इन ऑल ये लोग जितना मेहनत करते ऑफ द कैमरा वो हम हम क्यों हमको देखने को नहीं मिला मगर वो रिफ्लेक्ट हो जा रहा है आजकल मैच में सो एक बड़ी बात है और दिलीप सर का नाम जल्दी सब लोग चेंज करिए गूगल में वो इंटरनेट पर्सनालिटी नहीं है हमारा एक सेलिब्रिटी फीलिंग कोच है वो